peachtools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools again. How are we all going today? Hey, I'm still mucking around with this piece of junk, this old El Cheapo plasma cutter here that I'm not really impressed with. What I thought I'd do today, guys, if you've got a cheap plasma cutter like this, and of course it isn't pilot arc, then I'll show you how to cut through rusty, crappy, painted metal so we can turn this machine into a pilot arc machine momentarily just to get your cut started. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it. So first of all guys, if you're new to my channel and you may not even know what the pilot arc is, this is a non-pilot arc machine, meaning when you pull the trigger on the handle or push the trigger on the handle or however your torch happens to be set up, all we do is we get compressed air coming out of here, we don't get a flame, like this. And to get the flame to start, what we have to do is scratch it on whatever we're cutting to get the flame to initiate the first time, like this. See that guys, as soon as I touched it on the on the metal I was trying to cut, then the uh, arc started and then we got the plasma stream coming out of the torch. Now you might say to yourself, well that's all well and good, but why do I need something different? Now my workbench here is relatively covered in crap guys, as you can see, but it's still quite clean in the scheme of things. So what if I want to cut something like this? See that guys, this is really really ugly and it's heavily contaminated with rust. And if you're out on the ranch or you're out on your farm or you're underneath your car or something, sometimes you're going to be dealing with steel like this. And if you're trying to cut it with a non-pilot arc plasma cutter, this is what happens. So guys, once again, we'll put our clamp as close to possible as where we're cutting. This is pretty, pretty manky sort of looking steel, but sometimes you're going to have to deal with this sort of stuff. So you watch what happens if I try and start the machine on this. See that guys, if nothing happens, we don't get an arc, we can't get a flame because we're covered in rust and, and we can't get the electricity basically to start cutting through the steel. So what we need to do is either clean it up with an angle grinder, which is all very well if you've got it on your bench, but if you're underneath your car or underneath your tractor or something and you're covered in muck and crap, you're not going to want to get an angle grinder under there. So what we really need is a pilot arc machine guys, and the pilot arc like I said before, is when you pull the trigger, the flame comes out before you touch it on whatever you're cutting. And if you can get the flame to come out before you touch it on whatever you're cutting, it burns through the crap and you can continue on cutting. It's really good for a heavily rusted steel and like painted steel and that sort of thing. That's why you might have noticed guys in all my reviews, I've only got two machines that are not pilot art because the price of these machines has dropped that much. There used to be like an eighty, hundred dollar difference between a, a non-pilot arc and a pilot arc machine. But now there's virtually no difference at all, maybe 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So you're better off with a pilot arc every time. Don't get fooled by like a $189 machine. Just read the description on what you're buying first and make sure it's a pilot arc machine or a non-touch machine. So how do we get this to start if you haven't got a pilot arc machine? Here, I'll show you this little really, really simple trick, guys. And I don't know if this is gonna damage your machine or not. Yeah, you may have seen me doing this once or twice before, but I always just keep a piece of wire handy in my workshop just in case I run into stuff like this. All I've got guys is a length of wire like this, it's only a couple of feet long, and it's just got like a little lug like this on the end of it, and I've just made sure the lug is about the same size as my plasma torch cutting tip here. So if we make sure the lug is the same size and just fits over like so, just like that. And then what we do is this, grab the other end of it guys, just a bare piece of wire like so, bend it over so we've got something to clamp on. Now I only do this just to get my cut started and then we don't use it anymore because I don't know if it damages your machine or it doesn't damage your machine. I've never had an issue before. But anyway, so we put it on like so guys. And if it blows up your machine, don't blame me. It's just a little tip that I use every now and then. So now have we got pilot art guys. Yee pilot art, take the wire off. Non-pilot art. Cut through the rust, no way. Put our little clip on. See this big blob of rust here guys? I'll try and, it's wet as well, so I'll try and start cutting straight through there with my modification. Yeah! Now we've got it started guys. We should be able to take this off and just use it as normal now. Without burning myself. Whew, watch that guys, it's hot. 
This should start up just as normal now, guys. See? Perfect for the dough. Yee-haw, Grandma! Hee-hee! <laughs> so there we are, guys. That's that little hack. I don't know if you've seen that before, but I use it all the time. There you go. It's how to cut really, really horrible, rusted, painted, dirty, wet steel. If you haven't got a pilot arc machine, yee-haw! <laughs> Don't you just love plasma cutting, guys? I love it, I love it, I love it. So that was my tip for what it was worth, guys. Might just get you out of a little bit of a bind. Same as usual, if you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. Remember to come check out my new travel channel about New Zealand and where I live. I'll put a link in the description below. And we'll see you next time, guys. Oh, before I forget, if you want to see a video about a really, really good plasma cutter, check up this side. And if you want to see a video about how to start MIG welding for the very, very first time, check up this side. Anyway, guys, bye. PeachTools.com.com.com.